Yaman! Yeah, Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you canned ackee fruit and a codfish. All right, so you're gonna need a can of Jamaican ackee fruit. Half pound codfish. Half sweet pepper quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries, a spring of thyme, three garlic cloves, stock of scallion, half scotch bonnet pepper, and about three or four tablespoons of cooking oil. I use coconut oil and some water. Alright, so I want to get this codfish out of the way, so what people do traditionally is wash the codfish, wash the salt of the codfish on the running water and then they add the codfish to boiling water and put the codfish to boil for like five minutes, allow it to cool and then they scrape off the skin. You see me trying to get on the right now. But what I like to do is to get off this the codfish skin before I boil it. So what I like to do is get beneath the codfish's skin, codfish's flesh and the skin and kind of get a groove and peel off the skin. At times if you have if you add the codfish a little bit too long it get moist so the skin might give you a little challenge to get off this way. But if you're patient, you'll get it. So do as you see me doing and peel off the codfish's skin. The salted codfish's skin. I like doing it this way because to me, um, I don't get no scale in my meal. Alright, so that's the idea. This one is going to be a little bit more challenging because it's where the bone is. But I'm going to try. The skin is kind of moist right now, so it's kind of difficult to get a, to get a grip. If all fails, all you can do is scrape it off. The skin of this codfish right now is very moist. So I can just easily scrape it off like this. Like I said before, if some of y'all Jamaicans saying they don't do it this way, you can always boil the codfish with the skin on for five minutes, tenderize it, allow it to cool, and after cool, you scrape it like how you see me scraping it now. But if you do this part, you don't have to worry about taking the skin off again. Alright, so this is the idea. That's what you want. Rinse this off. Rinse your skinned codfish. Alright, I'm, dem I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to show you how I would rinse it. So you put the codfish in some a bowl of water. Put codfish in a bowl of water. But before you put the codfish in a bowl of water, remove or shake off excess salt. Just be careful of the, the bones. Alright, so add the codfish to a bowl. Kind of wash it. Kind of kind of work out the salt in the water. Industries salt fish to preserve it so that we can have it to eat anytime, any season. Alright, so remove this water, add fresh water, use a big bowl, 
some people say they soak the fish in water overnight but if you're in hurry you can do it this way so it's best if you do this part on the running water while rinsing the fish kind of squeeze it firmly but you know to squeeze it get get out the excess water and salt so once you do that on the fresh running water get a bowl add some water add the cut fish put to eat allow to boil for five minutes Put to heat, allow to boil and tenderize for five minutes. Leave lid halfway open. While we wait for the codfish to pre-cook, we're gonna prepare our vegetables. So slice, so peel onion, remove the brown skin. First layer of the onion is the strongest. Remove it only if it's spoiled. Scallion, remove the uh, spring, spring of time. Cut sweet pepper in half, remove seeds, clean out the insides. Clean out the inside of the sweet pepper properly. Um, peel garlic, cut ends. Trim spoilage like this. Remove dying leaves, cut off ends, cut root end off, and the tip of the leaf that's dying. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. We're using half scotch bunny pepper. I'm taking it from my pickled scotch bonnets that I, that I made at home so if you want to see how to make pickled scotch bonnet visit jamaicadinners.com It's best if you do this part on the running water, but get a bowl, add some water, drizzle a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar in it. Now wash your vegetables properly. The sweet pepper, the piece, sweet pepper, rub your finger get between the grooves and wash the sweet pepper properly rub the leaf of the scallion 
and wash it properly get off the dirt thyme stick sometimes mildew so you gotta wash that properly as well after wash give it a final rinse it's best if you do this part on the running water now slice onion but first turn the stove off leave the codfish in the water for a minute or a minute or so it's been five minutes codfish been boiling away you can take it out now if you want you know but I'm gonna let it stay for a minute slice onion one sixteenth between one eighth of an inch slices you see with these round onion you know you gotta be careful with the onion kind of shift and the sharp knife so that's why I'm being very cautious when it comes to these cutting onions more than anything else all right scallion diced scallion piece sweet pepper and note you can use bell pepper or paprika just make some nice little slices in a minute so I'm just going to remove the codfish from the hot water lay it on a plate a clean plate you see how clean the one is that I stripped compared to the one that I scraped and put it on the plate allow it to cool if you were doing it the other way now you would have boiled it and you would have added skin on it so you allowed it to cool and then after cool you kind of scrape off the, the skin or the scale you kind of scrape off the codfish's scale or the codfish's skin. Keep ingredients separate. All right, gather, gather, gather your ingredients. We're getting ready to cook or canned ackee fruit codfish stew but first we have to debone this codfish alright so it's cooled easy to handle so go through don't break the codfish up too small and remove the bones from the codfish usually these long ones a group of them always the same place so just remove those long ones and the, the codfish backbone that's what you have to worry about all right so once you do that break the codfish in big chunks maybe two three inches chunks and right, now we're gonna open this can of aki jamaica aki Aki fruit. Wipe the can, the surface of the can with a clean tablecloth or paper towel. Use your can opener and open the can. If you want to do it my way, all I'm doing is sticking the surface with a sharp knife, sharp, firm knife. And once I get a hole, I just use the knife and open it. Just remember, cut away from you if you decide to do it this way cut away from you so if it slips it slips in the atmosphere because I cook online most people have access to the canned aki so I felt obligated to do this recipe 
and two I'm declaring it's the very first time I'm using canned ackee once I burst the can you can smell the aroma it smell like butter ackee awesome best ackee we call it butter ackee here in Jamaica and initially when I open the can I smell the butter ackee look how bright yellow these ackee fruits are I'm 100% impressed look it's already cooked you remember I always say when it when it's cooked it have that nice bright yellow color that's what it has get a cal colander like this and pour your ackee in a can in it and let it drain once it's drained you just gently pour some regular fresh water over it and rinse it a little bit do as you see me doing all right so this is the ackee fruit it's already cooked you can already you can eat it just like this it's soft and tenderized and guess what guys you all are getting the quality aki because we have many species of aki if you don't have a colander you can use a strainer all right so do as you see me doing just gently pour some fresh water over the aki and rinse it this part is probably not necessary but force of habit I like to anything that I open in a can I like to rinse off rinse off whatever came in it rinse off the water that it came in. it's actually the same aki that we get out here and in fact you know, the can one is the quality aki I am like over 100% impressed all right, from this one can of aki, I'm gonna make two different dishes. Aki, fruit stew, and aki and codfish stew. I'm just dividing this portion of aki equally. This is where you need to go check out the other video if you're watching this one. Because with the other one, I'm gonna do. Now put to heat. A saucepan I'm using a medium-sized saucepan like I said I'm gonna show you how to maximize flavors from the dried fermented berries without having them in the meal so with the saucepan be sure the saucepan is dried out properly put to heat put saucepan to heat put the stove gauge on low add oil add cooking oil I use coconut oil stove gauges on low add half of quarter cup about four tablespoons of coconut oil all right so measure and add quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries to the eating oil allow it to flavor the oil stove gauges are low allow I believe if you keep it on low it reduces the risk of the berries bursting and hurting you allow the berries to flavor the oil after five minutes the stove gauge the stove gauge has been on low use a cooking spoon and remove the berries from the eating oil at this point you're gonna be smelling the aroma of the berries cooking I was gonna say burning it's not really burning it's cooking we like to use the first whenever we burn vegetables or so we like to use the phrase burn all right so um Add your codfish chunks to the eating oil. Turn the stove's gauge on four, medium low. Now would be a good time to turn the stove's gauge on four, medium low. Add the codfish. Be sure the codfish is, 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 is evenly placed at the pot's bottom. Allow. After a minute, I didn't move the codfish or anything. I just allowed it to fried crisp crispy all right after a minute 
use a spoon and kind of flip the codfish. It might stick a little, but it's okay. Just, just just be firm. After you flip the codfish, we're doing a dry cook today. We're not adding plenty of oil and we're not adding plenty of water. All right, so after you flip the codfish, about a few seconds after, maybe three, four, five seconds after, add your sliced onions. Use your cooking spoon and kind of shuffle the onions evenly at the pot's bottom. On the codfish, some is going to be on the codfish and some of the sliced onion is going to be at the, on the pot's bottom. So it's allowed to saute. Alright, now when we're going to add this ackee fruit, when we're going to add this ackee fruit, we don't want to add any water. So if water is in a bowl where the ackee fruit is in, kind of do what you see me doing and remove the excess water. I'm totally impressed with these canned ackee. I would have told you if it wasn't good. Alright, so 15-20 seconds after you add the diced scallion, use a wooden spoon, use a cooking spoon and stir, stir in the onion with the fried codfish and allow. And let me be clear, this is a method, this is one method of cooking this meal. Another method you could have add the, the, the onions first, allow them to saute and then add the codfish and then and then continue but I, I like to fry the codfish crisp, crispy 20 seconds later stirring in the pot a few times after the onions are sauteed a little bit add your cooked ackee fruits scotch bonnet pepper folding or stirring but what I want you to do is to lift and fold you gotta be mind, mindful that the ackees are very very soft and you don't want to break them up. After that you add about a tablespoon of water, you add the, the sweet pepper or, or bell pepper saucepan, use the pan's and lid, All right. Right. so you want to keep the lid on within the time, it's going to build steam and keep the stew moist. After a minute between two, this is what it looks like. It's going to stir it in, remember now, fold and lift gently, don't want to break the ackee fruits up. Alright, so that's it, it's finished, the stove skin has been on for all this time, turn it off, finish. It's best served within the time, I'm removing the time stick, time some of the time species are very strong so you gotta watch the time all right take a scoop of this canned ackee fruit codfish stew and lay it well I'm laying it on on a plate with two fingers of bananas They probably do it the traditional way by adding the onions first, allow the onions to saute, then you add the, the codfish, then the, the ackee fruits. Like I said, I like to fry crispy and I think that you would like it that way too. This is hand ackee fruit codfish stew. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share. You should try cooking this meal yourself and give us feedback. This method that I'm showing, this is the way they serve it in the hotels. They probably don't fry it crispy as me do, as I do. If you want to see canned ackee fruit stew, visit JamaicaDinners.com. Oh yes, and if you can, remove these garlic, all garlic, because we don't want them to mash out in the, in the stew, if you remember. Alright, see what I'm telling you? Look how crispy it looks. It looks crispy, so you can't tell if it's crispy, 
but it don't it look don't it look crispy it do look crispy all right so everybody who knows about aki and saltfish love aki and saltfish this is the this is how it's served in the hotels like i said they probably don't fry crispy as i do but it's not as oily this is how it's, it's served in fancy restaurants on the street now are our mom and pop shops our mom and pop restaurants they give us a lot more gravy because they know we want gravy so it's more it's more I wouldn't say oily but it has a lot more gravy in it because the water is mixed with the gravy and with the, with the, with the oil to make the gravy if you want to see me do that method visit jamaicadinners.com I have that video too as well alright so you gotta watch out for the bones although we, remove, although we removed the bones there might be a few in it same way so watch out notice we don't have to watch notice we eating freely we don't have to worry about taking out pimento berries or putting pimento berries aside the fruit the flavor of the fruit is clean like I said I'm 100% impressed with the canned ackee I wasn't expecting it to be that actually my thought of it was it was gonna be firm and thick and you know it looked just like how, how it would for us how it would for us if we had picked it on the tree and cooked it ourselves ourselves Alright, so the flavor of the Aki now is Jamaica's national fruit. This dish that I'm eating is the dish that we use to represent the fruit. The dish is not a national dish. I don't think it is. But we use Aki and Sawfish to represent the Aki fruit. What a fruit. Aki fruit is Jamaica's national fruit. The flavor of it is very unique. It's hard to describe. You will only have to try it. It's, it's one that you would like. I'm yet to find somebody that say they don't like Aki. It's healthy. However, it's, I would recommend that you don't eat it regular because it's also fattening. It's probably high in cholesterol. It's probably high in cholesterol. Fat is cholesterol, right? Or calories is something different. Calories is what we gather or get or something like that. I'm not sure. Alright, but this is it. I hope you enjoy. Um, I especially did this canned Aki for my international audience. For my international audience. Most Jamaicans don't buy canned Aki. So now you can see how, if you're a Jamaican, you've probably seen how the Kanaki look for the first time just like me. For the first time just like me. The flavor of it is clean. I'm impressed. The um, regulator boards are the those people that are in charge. The regular, the regular the regulators, the regulators. I give you all a good. I say good job. 
international regulators they demand they demand of us for it to be a specific way and we go overboard Jamaicans you all are doing a very good job with this Aki thing it's the very first time that I bought an Aki and I'm impressed I'm not gonna buy it again here in Jamaica because I can have the fruit itself I don't need to buy the kanaki and the kanaki is also available in Jamaica here in the supermarket because a lot of people a lot of times when I'm in the supermarket I see people buying the kanaki and I've and often time wonder but maybe that's what they're accustomed to and the thing with the can aki you know, the can aki is guaranteed to be safe the fruit that we buy here in Jamaica on the street is no guarantee that it, that that one is safe although we practice it still I mean I've never heard of anybody dying of aki that they bought or got sick from aki that they bought the only time they get sick is when they go on the tree and pick the bad one and cook it. Usually a person that just don't understand, like a foreigner come from abroad, come see the fruit, pick it, cook it, eat it, and and then get sick. But we don't really have a problem with handling, handling Aki. We don't have no problem at all handling the Aki fruit here in Jamaica. Aki makes a lovely sandwich as well. Alright, what good? Yeah man! This is Aki fruit on the tree when it's not ready for harvest. This is Aki on the tree when it's not ready for cooking. And this is how it looks when it's ready for harvest. It should open by itself naturally. It should burst open by itself on the tree naturally. Then it's ready for cooking. 